Okay, now let's understand the XIRR function, which is very similar to the XNPV function. Many businesses uh, use cash flows from several sources to fund their investment. And uh, the revenues that they generate don't always come on a regular monthly or an annual basis. So we can't use the IRR to calculate the internal rate of return. However, XIRR can help us to calculate the internal rate of return for cash flows that occur at irregular intervals. In front of you, you see a hypothetical example wherein there are dates and there are corresponding cash flows to those dates. If you see that these, day, uh, these cash flows occur at different points of time during the year 14 and 15, how do we calculate the rate in such cases? is where XIRR helps. Let's quickly put on the formula is equal to XIRR. It asks for the values. Oh, just before we do that, if we read the notation, it says it returns the, it returns the internal rate of return for a schedule of cash flows. Okay, similar to XNPV. It asks for the values, which is basically the cash flows Next, it asks for the dates. Let's select the corresponding dates. We are not putting any guess, so we close the bracket and enter. So we have now arrived at the discount rate or the external, uh, sorry, internal rate of return for the project.